Being a Game of Thrones fan teaches you a hell of a lot about patience and having to wait. And that's whether you're waiting for winter, the winds of winter, the Thor Placel, Equal J. And how about that top shelf video game set in the Game of Thrones universe that we've all been waiting for, I don't know, 13 years now? Well, earlier this week, as reported by RedanianIntelligence.com, which is a Witcher fan site, it looked like that we may have had a positive uh, message coming forward here on the Game of Thrones video game front, as Nexon Games was reported to be developing an MMORPG uh, set around the fourth, fifth season of Game of Thrones when Bruce Bolton takes over as Warden of the North. Jon Snow and Samuel Tarley are still freezing their buns off on top of the wall. Uh, and other uh, possible uh, regions of uh, Westeros would have been involved. Um, record scratch, as we scroll back up to the top of this page here, we got a little update. Our source has clarified that it's not Nexon, as they previously claimed, but instead Net Marble. Uh, this is the mobile game that was announced a while back. We apologize for our source's confusion. So, uh, Redanian intelligence received some bad intelligence and apparently had some smoke blown up their ass. Uh, so we're not going to have a Game of Thrones MMORPG, which to, to cut in real quickly, I think I would have been OK shedding the first three letters of that. I think I would just like a Game of Thrones RPG. Um, it, it's not going to happen. It's it's a mobile game. And there's actually a couple Game of Thrones mobile games out there. And while that might be fun and entertaining for 10, 15 minutes, ultimately, it's not something that you're going to go and invest 80 hours of your time. And maybe you don't want that. Um, but I think at this point in time, as Game of Thrones fans, we deserve a little bit more. OK, as of right now, in the year 2024, we really only have one actual quality Game of Thrones video game at our disposal. And that would be 2014's Telltale Game of Thrones which lasted a season, I think it was four or five episodes. That's really right in the heyday of Telltale when they had uh, The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, and then Game of Thrones, uh, which I remember 10 years ago uh, playing it. It's a lot of fun, right? But at the same time, it's, it's a Telltale game. It's very much a story, decision, dialogue option game where your choices mean everything. There's butterfly effect consequences with it um and it's a lot of fun as you can see right here you're choosing a lot of different dialogue options to advance the plot hopefully gain yourself some favor um and really avoid like the scour from uh, ramsey and cersei i do recall that being very menacing but that was 10 years ago people 10 years ago now if you were to put me in some sort of cryo tube back in 2014 and fast forward and release me now here in 2024 and say you think any other Game of Thrones video games have come out in the 10 years that you've been in that tube freezing your ass off? And I would say, yeah, I would think so. In that time, the show has ended. We've, well, not gotten another book. Sorry, George, not going to pile on. Uh, but, but the show has ended. We now have one season of House of the Dragon. We have a Knight of the Seven Kingdoms coming down the pipeline with additional spinoffs. The fact that we've not had another qual like and i shouldn't even say quality again telltale's great don't get me wrong like i i'm a telltale fan but when you have an ip like game of thrones and you have an established map and lore and characters and great houses and battles and names for swords and axes it it's just to me at this present time it's pretty amazing that we've not had something come out there's so many different fantasy IPs over the years that have had quality video games come out. And you can go all the way back to the PlayStation 2 gen and take a look at like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrecy from Prisoner of Azkaban wasn't that bad. Uh, you can take a look at uh, Lord of the Rings of Two Towers and my favorite, Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I spent hours upon hours, probably days playing that back in the day in middle school. Um, you fast forward a little bit and then you get uh, The Witcher 2, The Witcher 3. Uh, you get some quality Harry Potter video games on the Xbox 360 with Order of the Phoenix and Half-Blood Prince. Uh, and then, of course, you get Shadows of Mordor. And then most recently, Hogwarts Legacy. So the point that I'm trying to make is that you have these fantastic top-notch fantasy IPs that have had a lot of success developing video games. Why hasn't Game of Thrones been able to do that? When you think about those IPs that I've mentioned, they all have characters and lore and maps and all of this great source material for a video game developer to work with. 
Now, whenever we go over here and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful map at quartermaster.info, which I believe is right off the westeros.org website, which is a fantastic website if you're a Game of Thrones nerd like myself and ever want to go down a Game of Thrones rabbit hole, go to westeros.org and check out their wiki. Just put some time aside, a couple hours, because it, it'll take you down a rabbit hole. Um, let's take a look here at the Game of Thrones map, just real quick, just just hear this nerd talk about this map here for a second just just grant me that okay again we got harry potter video games we got lord of the rings video games and we have uh the witcher right just to name a few top-notch ones there that, that we've had great games over the years all right take a look at this beautiful interactive map as we look at the wall we look at the north we go down to the neck here's the veil of Arryn, right that's where the errands are and uh the red forts the hunters uh, the Riverlands right here, there's River Run, okay, there's where the Tullys are, uh, there's Heron Hall, here's the Westerlands, Castle Rock, King's Landing over here, here's some more prominent uh, landmarks in House of the Dragon, being Dragonstone, uh, Driftmark, here's the Stormlands, there's Storm's End, that's where the Baratheons are. Uh, you come over here, you got Old Town, which is one of the biggest cities in Westeros, I think the biggest city actually after King's Landing. Uh, you have High Garden, which is the seat of House Tyrell, and then you have Dorne, right? Sunspear, that's where House Martell is. Iron Islands, right there. The Greyjoys, them bastards. The point that I'm trying to make here as I show you this map is that you have this map. You have all of those great ancestral houses in Game of Thrones. All of these characters. Again, 13 years after Game of Thrones has come on TV, I just wonder aloud how do we not have that Hogwarts legacy yet version of this or shadows of Mordor or the return of the King? And again, I, I get it. I'm going back like previous gens uh, on, on consoles there. And, and, and I know that this is, you know, something different and something huge and it's easier said than done to develop a game that would be this size and magnitude. But when you consider the money maker that a game of Thrones is, how have we not had something come out yet, right? And I had a little bit of hope here earlier in the week whenever that Redanian intelligence uh, source came out there and it said that a, that a Game of Thrones MMORPG was in the works. Again, even though I, I don't really want it to be an MMORPG, I think I would just be fine with it being an RPG. I mean, hear me out here for a second. You develop your character, you pick what region they come from, you decide on what class they are. Maybe they're just a commoner. Maybe they are a hedge knight. Maybe they are the heir to Winterfell, or maybe they're a second or a third son at Winterfell, and they're not going to inherit uh, uh, the land and the title. So maybe they have to venture out from the north and forge their own path. And from there, like a storyline or a plot line develops as you make allies and, and you, again, forge your own path and you go wherever you want to go. And then that kind of creates a butterfly effect uh you know with with everyone else that you interact with down the road i don't know again I, I i'm obviously not a game developer but i'm just thinking out loud here if, if i can just spew that out there in a couple minutes truly someone has tried to imagine uh just how big and what the ceiling could be for a game of thrones video game um we're just apparently we're not there yet and again i'm more sad than anything because I, I think my, my hopes were just let up a little bit. Again, I, an MMORPG is not the kind of game I'd want to see Game of Thrones in, but I still was, would be excited that, that someone has the ambition to create a Game of Thrones video game that's, that's more than, and this is going to sound like a knock and a slight and that I'm throwing shade, but something a little bit more than a Telltale game. And again, I get it. It was 10 years ago. Again, I played it. I loved it. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, but 10 years later, nothing has come out since then. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. Uh, but again, we're Game of Thrones fans. We're used to it, right? Waiting. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment. Uh, what kind of Game of Thrones video games would you guys like to see? Would you like to see an MMORPG? Would you like to see like an action adventure? Maybe just a normal RPG? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, if you want to see more uh, Game of Thrones videos, video games, walkthroughs, playthroughs, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you.